Hello and welcome to Asia Today on CCTV News. I'm Chang Jiun in Beijing. The U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, Susan Rice, says there has been an alarming escalation of violence in Syria since the arrival of the Arab League monitoring mission. At a briefing on Tuesday, she said an additional 400 people have been killed. Wang Tao has our top story. Speaking to journalists after closed-door Security Council briefing, Rai said that the council learned that people were being queued in the Syrian crisis at a higher rate currently than they were before the Arab League deployed. The briefing we received on Syria uh, was alarming by any standard. Uh, the Undersecretary General noted that in the uh, days since the uh, Arab League monitoring mission has been on the ground. Um, in fact, some an estimated 400 uh, additional people have been killed, an average of 40 a day, a rate much higher uh, than was the case even before uh, their deployment. On Tuesday, a senior Arab League official said 11 members of a team of Arab League monitors were injured when their vehicles were attacked this week by pro-Assad demonstrators in the Syrian port city of Latakia. But he said the incident had not disrupted operations. Syria's ambassador to the United Nations, Bashar Yafari, said his country was continuing to provide security for their observers. There is no Syrian interest whatsoever to harm the credibility and the safety and the security of the Arab envoyees. This is why you have to look at those who perpetrated this uh, attack against some of the Arab envoyees on the other side. Opposition figures say the monitors have failed to stamp the bloodshed. The Arab League said on Sunday Syria had not fully implemented an agreement to stop violence. Jafari said his country regrets the loss of any Syrian life, but disputed the cause of violence. He said people were being killed in Syria because of those who were still insisting on instigating and inciting violence. Wang Tao, CCTV.